Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant. Power by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat. Thank you so much for your continued support of our channel. Ring that bell, subscribe, share, and give me your opinions on a slogan still. I'm still waiting on that stuff. So let's just jump on in on this topic that we got at hand that I'm going to lose my ever-loving mind about. And you see the topic at the bottom of the screen on the ticker. Did Angel Reese really use Dwayne Wade and Dennis Rodman in the same sentence? She did. So let's bring you to speed on what's going on. Dwayne Wade was actually a guest on Angel Reese's podcast, unapologetically Angel. And see, you know what I find funny about all of that? I'm unapologetically Rudy. That's literally what Rudy's rant is about. I'm unapologetically giving you my opinion. And so many people got a problem with it. Typically, the people who defend Angel Reese and and defend her ability to be unapologetically Angel. Isn't that ironic? The absolute hypocrisy that exists in the fan community depending on who you cheer for. So I am unapologetically me in my rants because I use facts over feelings, but she has the ability to be unapologetically her no matter who it offends, and she gets defended by her minions of men who dream about sleeping with her. Guys, it ain't happening. She ain't looking at y'all. Because most of y'all ain't six foot seven and above. But she had Dwayne Wade on her podcast, which ugh. apparently Dwayne Wade is an investor or a partial owner of the Chicago Sky. I mean, he is from Chicago. I mean, he's also an investor and a part owner of the Utah Jazz. Dwayne Wade has changed a whole lot, although I must appreciate the fact that he looks like he's gotten taped up and Got a nice fade and not some crazy hairstyle. I appreciate. I like. I like clean cut people. As you see, I am clean cut, edged up. Like I like that stuff. But Dwayne Wade has had a real metamorphosis. I don't know what you would call it. Change in his life, and that's fine and dandy. Because I don't think that there's any way in hell that if he was his younger self, he would have sat there and allowed Angel Reese to use his name in the same breath with Dennis Rodman. Take a look. Speak a lot, obviously, because I do rebound, and I I do rebound in a great way, and I play defense. Obviously, as a rookie, coming into the league, my mind was just like just to get a fresh start like i did everything i wanted in college i won a championship like i had the the college experience of doing what i wanted when i came into the league i just wanted to be able to grow and luckily i was really really good in one specific thing which was rebounding and i knew i had to tighten up on my offense and what i'm going to do in the off season but like so many people critique me because i was a great rebounder and sometimes like (laughs) why don't y'all box me out like how come y'all don't box me out like I don't. I, I. It's. It's tough to see that, but I've always watched players like you, Dennis Rodman, like players that always did the little things yeah. that like got you to championships. Like you've won championships, you got MVPs, and it wasn't just because of offense. It was both sides of the ball. All right, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. There's a lot to unpack in that one little segment where Dwayne Wade sat there and listened to that absolute nonsense. She compares, she says she watches players like him and Dennis Robin who did the little things. Angel Reese is 22, maybe 23 now. She's 22. Let me check. How old, is it? How old is Angel Reese? I think she's still 22. Angel Reese is 22 years old. She turned 22 in May. So 22 years ago was 2002. The Miami Heat won the championship in June of 2006. That was Dwayne Wade's third season. I know I was there. I went to games three, four, and five as a season ticket holder. And I was in 
the arena in game six to watch the road rally where the place went bananas as the Heat won in Dallas in game six. Angel Reese was four years old. Four. She probably had no idea who Dwayne Wade was. She compared Dwayne Wade to Dennis Rodman in saying that they did the little things to help win championships. First of all, Dennis Rodman never won an MVP of anything. He was a defensive player of the year, never won an MVP. Dennis Rodman, I don't think ever averaged, I think one season averaged over 10 points in a season. He averaged, no, yeah, 11.6 his second year. The only year he ever averaged 10 points. Vast majority of his career, he was under seven points per game. His career, six point, his career points per game, 7.3. Dwayne Wade, for about three years, two or three years, was the best player in the world. He wasn't the guy that did the little things. He did everything. He did everything. The Miami Heat won the championship in 2006 because of Dwayne Wade. And the Miami Heat in 2011 would have won the championship because of Dwayne Wade if LeBron James had simply shown the hell up in the fourth quarter. Not be great, just show up. Instead, he disappeared. But Dwayne Wade, for a period of his career, was arguably the best player in the world. He averaged 27, 27, 25, 30, 27. That was from 05, 06 to 09, 2010. And then his first year with LeBron, he drops down to 25.5. And then 22.1, 21.2, 19. By that point, his knees were really starting to take a toll, and he, he wasn't the same dude. But for this period from 05, 06 to about 08, 09, Dwayne Wade was arguably the best player in the world. He should have been the MVP in 08, 09. And she mentions him and talks about Dwayne Wade like he's Dennis Rodman? The little things? I, I get it. I, I get it. I, I understand what, what she was trying to say. But if, if that was a younger Dwayne Wade and he heard his name mentioned in the same breath as Dennis Rodman, I don't think his reaction would have been as simp sense. I mean, he looked like a... I don't know. He looked like a softy, like a simp out there. This, like letting her say some some of the stuff that was said in this. I've seen clips of it overall. I ain't watch. I don't. I didn't watch it all the way through. I've seen clips of it. But that particular clip just jumped out to me and punched me in the face because you just because Angel Reese compared one of the twenty. My opinion, in my opinion, one of the twenty best players in the history of basketball to a guy who basically only rebounded the ball. <laughs> like, oh, that's like comparing Angel Reese to Lisa Leslie. Like, get, the, get out of here. I'm sorry. That's like comparing Lisa Leslie to Angel Reese. Get out of here. Angel Reese is a tremendous rebounder. I think we've established that. And they talked about that a little bit in some of the clips that I saw. Where, or even in this one, she says, Box me out. Well, most people don't expect you to throw a shot put to the other side of the basket. Like, that's not how basketball is typically played. Most of the time when you shoot the ball, you're actually trying to make the shot. Where at times I think she shoots the ball for the sole purpose of grabbing the rebound and putting herself in a better position to score. That's my belief. That's why we call it stat padding. Because you know you're not trying to make that shot and you're literally just flinging it up in the air 
so you can catch your own rebound and have a better chance to make the shot. Or maybe then fling it up again and catch your own rebound and try to make the shot and fling it up again, and which we saw happen time after time after time after time. So while I she has that attention to knowing where the ball's going, most people don't know that you're tr- probably trying to miss or don't really care if it goes in because you're running towards where you're shooting it, which is not anywhere near the rim. Dwayne Wade did tons of dirty work. Dwayne Wade did tons of little things. Dwayne Wade is, I think, the second most shot blocks by a guard. Block shots. I keep saying shot blocks today. I don't know why. Block shots by a guard. I think that's the number, something like that. It's him and Jordan. Like Dwayne Wade was an all. So as I was saying, and you can see I've changed shirts because I had to stop the previous video and I'm completing it now. But Dwayne Wade is a stud or was a stud basketball player. He's one of the three best shooting guards of all time, in my opinion. Had his knees not gone on him, you could make an argument that Dwayne Wade is the second best shooting guard of all time. But because his knees went on him, he didn't get to reach that level because there were points where he was just as good as Kobe Bryant. I mean, realistically, if you watch the Miami Heat play, you watch Dwayne Wade play, he, he and Kobe had epic battles, epic battles. So for her to mention them in the same breath, the same sentence, it's utterly laughable. And what's worse is that he sits there and he smiles about it because there's nothing at all that remotely, remotely, puts Dwayne Wade and Dennis Rodman in that same conversation. Yes, I know some ridiculous reporters made Dennis Rodman a top 75 player completely unearned and undeserved. He wasn't even considered a top player when he played. But it seems like revisionist history changes the story and says, yeah, he's one of the greatest of all time. No, he is one of the greatest rebounding players of all time. And Angel Reese may go down as one of the greatest rebounders of all time. She probably will. She probably will. I don't think her offense will ever catch up. So all that stuff that she says, why don't we ever see her doing videos of herself playing basketball? Oh, yeah, that's right. Her hand's messed up, so she can't do that right now. Or, or she could. Maybe she should work on her right hand. Maybe she should practice shooting with her right hand. Because, you know, you know, you shoot layups with both hands. Maybe you work on laying the ball up with your right hand. Because you missed a whole lot of those, too. Instead, we get videos with booty cheeks out. We get a podcast talking to people where she gets the voice again. Again, she somehow turns the the, the pot. Of course she's going to do that. That's what she's supposed to do. She's going to turn the podcast and make it about her. Well, why don't you box me out? As I said earlier, box you out. No one's preparing for you to miss on purpose. People assume that you're trying to actually make the shot. But in theory, you probably are missing at times on purpose because you know you're not going to make it, but you still want to shoot it, and you're hoping that maybe, and then you just toss it up, and you're running directly to where you know it's going. Because if I box you out here, you can go around me and get over there before I can get there to box. It's not as easy as people think to box somebody out when they miss so badly. When someone is missing so badly or missing the ball right into the bottom of the rim and it comes back back to them, how can how can someone box you out? If you're inside of me when you shoot the ball and you spike it into the bottom of the rim and it falls back into your hands, how is the person behind you supposed to box you out? She does have an act for the ball. She does have an eye for those things. She is good at that. I'm going to sit here and say it. I've said it. But she compared her, Dennis Rodman to Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade is a Hall of Famer. Dwayne, and yeah, I know Dennis Rodman is too, even though he didn't didn't earn that either. How can you be a Hall of Famer when you only made two All-Star games in 15, 16 years? Far be it for me to say that the Hall of Fame used to be about the elite players, the best players of all time, and Dennis Rodman is not a best player, and not even in the conversation of one of the best players of all time. He wasn't one of the best players of his generation. Dwayne Wade was. Dwayne Wade, for the duration of his career, the prime of his career, was a top five NBA player. 
for the duration of his prime. Top five at all times. And we're going to compare that guy to Dennis Rodman and the little things that he does. Yes, Dwayne Wade did little things, but he did all the big things too. He carried the fucking franchise. He carried the franchise. He averaged almost 35 a game in the finals. Finals MVP. Hall of Famer. Three-time NBA champion. Should be four. Realistically, if he doesn't get if he doesn't get hurt in 2005, the Heat go to the finals in 05 too, and probably win the championship that year over the over the uh, San Antonio Spurs. But this is you were four. You have no idea what Dwayne Wade really did. See, that's what I laugh about. It's easy to see little clips and videos of Dennis Rodman. Real easy, because if all you do is rebound, I guess maybe you look for him. I don't believe that people are searching clips for Dwayne Wade. They see clips. They don't really know how unbelievable. If you weren't of age, you don't know how damn good Dwayne Wade was. As a player, Dwayne Wade is my favorite Miami Heat player, him and Glenn Rice, my two favorite Miami Heat players of all time. With all the stuff he does now, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the painting nails. I'm not a fan of the whatever. But as a ball player, Dwayne Wade, Dennis Rodman, and he sat there and smiled. I cut it off. He grinned. He was like, you heard him? Really? Really? Man. I don't think so. I guess you could have gone the way of Asia Wilson and said you're only here because you're black. <laughs> I don't know, but apparently he was a role player. And even when he was a role player, Dwayne Wade was never a role player. It's like we can miss, we can get rid of that bullshit. Dwayne Wade was never a role player for the Miami Heat. Ever. Ever. Never. He was not a role player. Ever. Even in his last year, he was still the Miami Heat's best player. Yeah, when LeBron was here, he was the second best player. The first year with LeBron, he was the best player. The next three years, he was the second best player and still had his 25 a game his second year with LeBron. He got hurt. He was always better than Chris Bosh. But anyway, he was never a role player. He never played a role the second leading scorer is not a role player in any world. Ever. He was the best player with Shaq. But anyhow, let me know your thoughts. Your, let, me, let me know your thoughts of what Angel Reese compared Dwayne Wade to. Woo! Facts over feelings here, baby. Facts over feelings. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Sure to pound that like button, subscribe, and follow, and share this video. Come on now.